morning you guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. We have the makeup moving vlog. Well, I mean, this is it. This is my last day to get everything packed up, but this is when we have to go through my makeup and I can only take half of it to London. So that means I have to clear it out and I have to do it properly. So you're gonna help me. I can't do this on my own. So yeah, I've just got back from my grandma's birthday party and it's time to get sorting. I was like, oh yeah, I'll get changed into something comfier and I've walked into my dressing room and this is what I see. I'm gonna have to put what I wore yesterday on again. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. At least my like full length dresses hadn't been put away yet, so I actually had something to wear to the party. That was good, that worked out well. So I've realized that I can't change yet because I have to film something when my mom gets here and she's not here yet. So I'm gonna start by clearing out my makeup brushes because these, I don't use these. I have a whole other pot up there of clean ones that I've cleaned and washed, like ready to take to the new place. So most of these, I think I can just give away if I'm being completely honest. So let's do this. It's just in this marble holder. I'm not entirely sure where this is from. Oh, Spectrum sent it to me. I don't know if they sell it or if this is just like a press release, but I love it. So a ton of these are ones that I don't really use. I don't really use this Kat Von D one very often. So that can go to family and friends. This is a nail brush. Uh, the body shot ones, I have a ton of these. This one's so old. So old, I'm not keeping that. I'll keep the pinks. Mm. Oh, this is so hard, I don't even know. This Real Techniques one's useful, but I don't know where the lid is. Uh, these ones can go. Oh my gosh, these, I feel awful getting rid of these. Oh, but they're so good. But I don't need them. They People can use them. By go, I don't mean throw away <laughs> at all. I mean, like, they can be given to family and friends that are going to use them. Never, ever, ever would I throw anything away, ever. Please don't worry. <laughs> I got a bunch of artiste ones, which I thought I would use, but I just don't really use them that much. Not that I don't get on with them. I just don't reach for them. I remember when I first got the stippling brush, I didn't actually know how to pronounce stippling, so I'd never actually say the word. I'd just be like, oh, that brush. <laughs> <laughs> How bad? Yeah, all these are going to be given away. I'm about to really embarrass myself and show you where my other brushes are. This is awful. Look, they're in the bath. It's because I put them on a towel when they'd been washed and then they just kind of sat here because I didn't put them away. <sighs> Okay, it's not working. So these are the drawers that I thought were going to be hardest to empty because like this <laughs> oh, just looks like that. And then um, this is my face mask drawer. I think it's just going to come as is pretty much. And then this was full of travel things. So I've kind of emptied it out. This is all the things that like I'm keeping. And I know it looks excessive, but like I don't want to have to buy more like sun cream and skincare and stuff. Like there's no point. I'm going to take it with me. Like even half empty bottles of sun cream. These are like nine pounds and there's no way I'm spending nine pounds when I've got some at home so they're all coming with so I'm really proud I did that drawer that's like you know a big thing now I just have to tackle this drawer these bottom ones are like kind of stationary and all things like that but I don't really use it that much I just have it there just in case so I need to you know have a real think this is cool though this is when you fall asleep on the plane wait I'll put it on and show you okay I look like a total donut but what you do you put it like this and then you can like sleep on it like this or you can put it at the front like that or like wait like that and then you sleep. But like, I'm just never gonna take it with me because I'm just not that much of a fussy traveler. I just kind of put up with it. It's such a really comfy. I'm like, oh, this is why I keep it every time because I put it on and I'm like, that's such a good idea. But would I actually ever wear this in public? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I'm gonna put a poll here. Shall I keep this or get rid? I mean, it's cool, but like, I'm actually ever gonna use it. So I've just found all my train tickets. And if you remember back in the day, I used to have these on my wardrobe, like on my mirror. So it'd be like lined up along here, all of them. And um, they all have like little notes on the back of memories. So like this was when I did my first ever meetup in 2014. It says meetup, 20 people came. And I have tickets all from 2014 through 2016. Even I think this is from 2017 actually. This is like, it's actually really emotional. This is like a diary of my life through train tickets. It's crazy. Oh, I really hope the PR's alive. Dad, I'm filming a video. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I got an assistant for this shoot. I got a light lighting guy and an assistant. This is how much effort I put in. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, holding the slide. Mm -hmm. okay. Slavery. Ten years old, slavery. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the whole crew are here now. My mum turned up and then the rest of my family turned up and they're all like, we're here to help. But I'm not, oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. So yeah, I'm still emptying. Draws. I need to get this put up. I've got this for my birthday. I love it. I haven't put it up yet, so I'm going to save it and then put it up in the new place. Obviously, there's no point putting it up now when we're taking everything down. <laughs> we're being very productive, aren't we? <laughs> but 
Just get <laughs> to him oh, this. someone out in the 70s this is the update everything is being this will go into my mum's house for like my bedroom there and then I'm just clearing everything out a lot of these drawers are looking a lot emptier which is such a relief because they were looking so full still I haven't touched my L'Oreal drawers yet but it's too daunting <laughs> like I need I need to take it all uh, but yeah I'm condensing a lot down which is so good i'm so relieved to be doing that oh my gosh this is proving way more of a task than when i first thought about it the movers okay it's 11 40 at night the movers are coming in the morning and um like it's just not ready for them i mean through here is fine this is done this is ready but it's like this room like these are going these are going these are going uh yeah so i'm calling it a night i will see you in the morning so this is where we are at these are ready to go they're just absolutely rammed full of makeup but the movers reckon they can move them full so yeah all my makeup is in this one these are staying two of these are coming with uh the two that have stuff in and then these are all empty because obviously oh my gosh i haven't done this oh my goodness it's the last thing i want to do right now oh my goodness Okay, now we're actually done for the night. Them drawers are empty and there is a lot more stuff in here. I really don't know how they're going to move these full. Like, I don't... I've tried to move these numerous times before and never have I managed to do it full. So, we'll see what happens there. I'm going to go have a shower and get into bed. I'm so excited for this sleep. I, as a kid, I did not sleep. So, like, the fact I now get excited to go to bed is, like, such a strange concept. But I can't wait. Good morning. It's moving day. I'm very tired. Mum's come over. She's Morning. brought bin bags and cups of tea. She brought her kettle because I didn't have a kettle. Um, right. <sighs> so much to do. The movers have just got here, but I can't get on a train until after 10 o'clock because otherwise they're like insanely expensive. So I have to wait for the, like, for 10 o'clock. And then I have to like, oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, it's fine. The trains are running. They, they weren't running last night. I was supposed to go back last night, but they're not running. So they are now, but I have to wait till 10. And I'm hoping I'll beat them there. If not, they're going to have to grab a coffee, but it's Monday morning traffic into London. So I'm assuming that they're going to take like three hours instead of like an hour and a half. And I should be there on time because the journey to my place in London is so easy on the train. So I'll never drive it again unless I have to take stuff like no way. You guys, look how empty this room is. There's me. I got my dressing gown on because we turned the heating off because all the doors are open. The gap. How crazy. Look, this is soot from my candles. How disgusting is that? Treats me like that's like serves me right for not trimming my wicks. Mum was laughing at me because I was never allowed candles growing up and then I moved out and I had candles. She was like, no, 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 it ruins the walls. And I was like, I don't understand. No, it doesn't. And she's just been proved so right. What do you think to the soot on the walls? It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. If you sit under it, Mum, it'll look like you're really mad. Because it'll look like it's coming out of your head. So upstairs is completely done. My dressing room is empty. I mean, these are all things I have to deal with. This is, I'm taking these on the train. Um, yeah, I need to get my jacket there at some point. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Hmm. Okay. And then this room is looking a lot emptier. This is so crazy. I've literally been here a year. It's so sad. So strange how much can happen in a year, you know? Like... So weird, yes, I still got my dressing gown on, it's freezing. It was really lovely last night after we finished packing everything up, my family, I bought like everyone dinner. We had an Italian and we all sat around my dinner table eating all five of us. And that doesn't happen anymore just because my sister moved out and like everyone's busy and I'm in London. So it was like really nice to have like the last night in my home all together. Even though this was never really a home, it was like a house, but it never felt like my home because never really made it a home you know so i'm excited to make my new place a home that's the main thing that's just all i want i just want a, I want a base a stable base a home so i'm excited like i'm very ready for this chapter of my life and i am on the train ah, i managed to get on an earlier train but i thought the super off peak thing was from 10.01 but it's 10.51 so i had to get an off peak which is like 20 pounds more but me 
means I've got on an earlier train so it'll give me more time to like prepare everything for the movers to arrive which is like I'm relieved about it's worth the extra money although if you know if I didn't have to pay it I would prefer not to but I just got my bags here I'm not even going to try and go into a carriage I just can't deal with that I'm just going to sit here and I oh, yeah. have just to clarify I am wearing the same clothes as like the last two days but it's because I didn't bring any because I was like I have clothes at home and then mum packed them all so yeah I'm still in my jet wheels I actually lounge wear pants I like the train service we're in and they're starting to like bring stuff up but I don't know if the wardrobes are going to fit up because they're not going to fit in the lift. So I don't know if they're going to come up the stairs. I'm on quite a high floor. I really don't want them to. That's like, it's not fair. But um, yeah, the TV is in. Bits and bobs are in. I can't really start unloading things yet because I don't have any storage in. So when he builds the cupboards then I'll be able to like start putting stuff away. But yeah, this is... Uh this is all the stuff that was here before, and then this is the start of things, and then the wardrobes hopefully are gonna go here. And then this is the, see they got these in, so if they might, oh wait, no, these aren't actually that high, this is just like built, they've actually built these, I don't know, they must have got the doors up somehow. I don't know, oh, whatever. This is uh, how the bedroom's looking, we have one bedside table so far. So the movers have gone, and uh, there is a storm, so it's feeling very like atmospheric up in here, but, this is where we're at. So this was all here before. A bunch of this is going back to like be, you know, just like bits and bobs that I don't need. So this is what we're looking at. Obviously I am getting a sofa, it is on the way, but this is what we're looking at for now. And then the biggest change, well, actually it's both these rooms, are through here. So my, like some of my wardrobes are in. So basically these are being moved to here. This is being moved to there, and then I'm getting two more of these, so it's all going to be drawers here, and then I'm going to have, like, three hanging ones. And then my makeup drawers are just there, so, yeah, obviously that's kind of half the size of this room. Well, not literally, but it feels a lot more narrow now, but there's still a decent amount of space. Like, you could still fit a bed in here, but, like, I'm not going to, but, yeah, this is how it's looking. Obviously, I need a ton of storage because I'm in a flat, so I need, you know, places to put things. And... Hello, this is where my mirror is right now. I don't think it's going to stay here because it's not like you can really take, you know, outfit pics here. So this is the bed. I made it and then obviously I laid on it because it's messy. I got my ottoman here, which I mean, I might push against the end of the bed. I might not. I don't quite know yet. But this is just lovely. I've got my bedside tables and I need to like tidy all this away. So here's me in my... Uh, in my teddy bear jumper, but I do have a bit of an issue. So in the other room, all my clothes are still bagged up in bin bags, which is fine, but I have nowhere to un like to put them. I thought I'd maybe be able to hang some up, but I can't because I need to like like uh, drill them together. So I um, go, or well, sorry, screw them together. So I've just ordered some hanging rails on same day delivery from Argos. So I'm gonna hang all my clothes up on temporary hanging rails now. Now, like I wouldn't be that bothered. Like I know that's super extra, but I know for a fact I can reuse the hanging, uh, like the hanging rails. And secondly, uh, I as of 6 a.m. this morning. I'm flying out to LA on Wednesday. So I need to be able to see all my things so I can pack. If it wasn't, if I wasn't going away, it wouldn't be that deep. I'd just be able to, you know, sort it out like tomorrow. But I have so much to do before I head to LA. So I Argos same day delivered some hanging rails. They're coming between 7 and 10 tonight. And I'll be able to hang all my clothes up, which is gonna be brilliant. The hair's getting kind of embarrassing now. <laughs> but I've pretty much been unpacking my stuff so it's all not squished up obviously i've got to wait till later for my wow that's actually really embarrassing the amount of shoes i own i have to wait for the other hanging rails to come so what i'm going to do is just line them along the wall so i'll just move the shoes forward but for now i wanted to get them out so they weren't all squished and then all my clothes oh my goodness it's honestly hurting my heart that they're all in the corner like squished but by the end of today this room is going to be lined with clothes and it's just going to have to you know going to have to make do with it until i can do something better something more permanent and then in here again i've just been tidying it's like not changed too much this is like a state and yes this is full as well it's a problem i know you don't need to tell me i am more than aware i must admit i'm pretty happy with how it's looking obviously the wall needs something and i've got this this side but i feel like this wall needs something as well but coming through here the like dressing room i guess is uh, a bit more organized i've started hanging some things up but the hangers come in about two hours so i need to go and get some jobs done like out of the house uh so like i said yeah all this would be lined i've just started to kind of unbag 
unbox some things, get everything out of the kitchen pretty much, so that looks presentable. This is like gonna be the junk room where I can just like shut the door, <laughs> for now anyway. And then through here, it just looks a lot tidier. I've got all my pictures that I'm gonna put up just lined along the wall. And then I need to get rid of that box, it's empty. And I'm like kind of getting there, you know? I need to like find places to put these because this looks messy. Like this makes the room look messy and I don't like that. So I need to find somewhere to put it and just, you know, washing and stuff. So guys, I am heading to uh, to go do these jobs now. I have changed out of my pajamas. Well, they're not really pajamas, it's just like loungewear. And freshened up and I feel so good, like cleaning and unpacking and stuff like that. It's, it's like a lot of work. So yeah, I'm gonna go get this stuff done and then my August delivery will be here and then we can undo, undo, unpack all of my clothes. I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger job than it actually was. I feel like I'm almost there with it, so it's brilliant. I couldn't be happier right now. Everything is as sorted as it can be, like until until the uh, hangarounds get here. I'm making dinner, watching Family Guy. I'm so happy! And the clothing rails are in, but I have to be up early in the morning, so I'm just gonna unpack everything tomorrow. So I'll show you in this vlog, don't worry, you'll, you'll see that in like 30 seconds. But are you ready to see the room? It looks kind of crazy. This is how it's looking. So they're that how annoying that that one's lower than the rest. Oh well. But yeah, this is what it's gonna look like temporarily, which I feel like I might be able to fit everything because in my other place I had like one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, this is like perfect. So I should fit everything, hopefully. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. So I'm very, very happy because I just got a knock at the door. And my new, uh, like, like what are they called? The legs, I guess, are here for my stools. I'm very happy. So I've got slightly higher ones just because I felt like my other ones were a bit low for the table. So, and you know how much I love, I love my chairs. So they are... Yeah, they are about to be made perfect. I'm very excited. And the guys have just gone back down because they are bringing up my sofa. Oh my goodness. So I don't know if I told you about the process of me ordering my sofa, but basically I was finding it really hard. There was this one sofa I was in love with and I was like, right, you know what? I'm just going to get it. So I've got a sofa and a matching chair. They're from Cult Furniture. It's the same place that I got my stools from for my like bar table. So I just, I know it's good stuff. I'm very excited about it. And they're about to bring it in now. So I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Like, it's just so real. I've got like a sofa now. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have a sofa. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, it's so cozy. So I got the sofa and I got a like single chair as well, but you can fit two people on this. So I wanted to find a hybrid between it looking cool and it being comfy. These are super comfy and they're very cool. Also, I like the fact they're not too deep because this is a space that would fill up very quickly. So I didn't want to get something super deep and like the space feel tiny, but I still wanted it to be comfy. So like, it's so cool. I want to get like a footstool or something to go in the middle but at the minute I've got like too many different colors in here so I need to get rid of the yellow chairs out of this room really otherwise it's just too many colors but I am so happy the legs are fitted on my stools as you can see it's looking very good and I'm just oh, so happy about this oh my goodness I'll link them down below cool furniture's furniture is so affordable so great like such great quality I know when I put the stools on some of you will like Emily that's not that's not affordable but for the type of like furniture you will not get this at a better price anywhere else. So, and like the quality is just, we've made progress. So obviously this room is looking a lot more put together, but this room has transformed. It's not done, obviously. I've still got things to put away, but this is just gonna make my packing tonight so much easier because I'm off to LA for a few weeks. So yeah, I can actually see everything. And then obviously all my built-in wardrobes are gonna be along here. So this is all gonna fit along there but for now like this is just the best system i could come up with and i'm very happy with it so yeah look, i'll give you like a little overview this is what we're dealing with it looks like a lot i mean i've got a, one more bag to empty and um then boxes need to be put away in places but i can't just check because i don't have like my drawers set up properly um but yeah pretty much everything's hung up except it's all bikinis and shorts down there and then these are jumpers that i decided not to hang up <sighs> I'm happy, it's looking good. So guys, that is it for this moving vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't really show you like that much of my sofa, but I wanna do like a massive reveal when everything's in, and like, it'll be about a month. So this is like the final moving vlog you're getting for now. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have, please give it a massive thumbs up, and don't forget there will be one more coming in about a month's time when like 
all my dressing room is fitted and when everything's in but of course i'll link as much as possible down below uh but yeah thanks for joining me on this journey it's been crazy like i'm so excited to show you when everything's in all my like makeup's in my drawers everything's set up it's yeah it's a crazy exciting time and of course i'm gonna decorate for christmas so maybe i'll show you when all my christmas decks are in i think that'd be really really cute i'll do like a full-on finished tour that'd be cool uh but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very very soon goodbye